Assalamu alaikum and hi. In this video, we're going to solve some problems related to Compton scattering. This is question and solution video. So, let's read the question real quick. Photon undergoes Compton scattering of a stationary free electron. You're going to want to highlight this stationary free electron. Uh, it may give you a hint afterwards. The photon scatters at 90 degree from its initial direction. Its initial wavelength is 3.00 times 10 to the power of negative 12 meter. What is the electron's kinetic energy? It wants us to find the kinetic energy, but without some of the information, you can't directly find the kinetic energy. So this is the uh, basically the Compton scattering process. It has the incident photon with uh, lambda i, and this is the theta here from this question. You have to bear in mind that this is the theta here. Okay. Um, this is basically the main formula of the Compton scattering. The thing you need to know about the Compton scattering is that it decreases in energy. Uh, at the same time, it wants to conserve the momentum, so that it increases in wavelength. If you want to check your final answer, you're going to have to find the increment in wavelength. So upon collision, uh, it gives some of its initial energy given by Planck's formula, E equals to hash mu. When it comes to Compton scattering, the energy of the photon is hash C equals to 1, 2, 4, 0 electron volt dot nanometer. This is just the constant. Given the initial particle wavelength from the question is 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 12, we're going to change the unit to become nano. And then uh, we substitute it into initial energy equation. E is mc squared, right? Remember, E is mc squared, right? So we directly write E here. Okay, here's the thing. mc squared is equal to energy. The reason why you need to calculate this initial energy is so that you can calculate the final energy after this, okay? Okay, this is the energy before the collision. You just substitute the value. Substitute the value 1, 2, 4, 0 electron per nanometer. And then you just cancel out this nanometer. You are left with 4.13 times 10 to the power of 5 electron volts only. Because you just cancel out the nanometer unit. And then by getting the initial energy, we can calculate the Compton shift. This is the formula of Compton scattering. We are going to enter this Compton scattering. Okay, so delta lambda equals to hash over mc1 minus by cos 90. Cos 90 is 0, so you're left with 1. Substitute the value, then you get this mc squared equals to 511 times 10 to the power of 3 electron volt or you may find this number more frequently 0.511 mega electron volt this is just the constant right you have this constant scattering wavelength 2.43 picometer this is the Compton uh, scattering right actually if you don't calculate this it's always 2.43 picometer Taking the initial wavelength 3 picometer plus 2.43 picometer, you're gonna get 5.43 picometer. The new photon energy is becoming E. You're gonna have to put the prime here because the prime is after the collision. Okay, this is the after collision photon. The value you got here. You come up with the answer 2.28 times 10 to the power of 5 electron volt. Okay, back to the question, it wants us to find the kinetic energy according to a kinetic energy conservation principle. Delta E equals to change in energy equals to energy before and energy after collision. 4.53 times 10 to the power of 5 electron volt minus the answer we just got before. 2.28 times 10 to the power of negative EV. So you get this answer. 1.85 times 10 to the power of 5 electron volt. You get this answer. Answer here. Oh, don't forget to change the unit to joule uh, in case you forgot how to change the unit. This value you just times with 
electron charge so that it, it will lead to this answer 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 joule okay next question is about calculate the Compton wavelength for a an electron and a proton what is the photon energy for an electromagnetic wave with a wavelength equal to Compton wavelength of the electron and the proton okay this is basically like I've told before if you don't calculate it it always yields to the same answer let's see all right these are the formula you're gonna have to find this lambda mass of electron is m equals to 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms Compton wavelength is we just substitute this formula Length constant and mass of electron and the speed of light in vacuum. So you're gonna have this 2.43 picometer, just like previous question, 2.43 picometer. Okay, so next we're gonna solve for the proton. The proton mass is this value is so much heavier than electrons, so you expect very much shorter wavelength. So you just substitute, do the same thing as you did before, and then you're gonna have 1.32 femtometer. Is it the question? They want us to find the photon energy if the wavelength equal to Compton wavelength of the electron and the photon. So you you're gonna use the same wavelength that you've got before to substitute it into the formula. You've already got this and divided by the Compton wavelength that you've got before. So the answer is 5.11 times 10 to the power of 5 electron volt or 0 0.511 mega electron volt. This is actually the constant. They just want us to prove the constant, right? And for the proton, uh, 939 mega electron volts. So that's all for this question. These two questions are the most basic question about the Compton scattering. You have just to remember the blank constant. You just have to remember lots of constant here. And don't forget the speed of light in vacuum constant too. Alright, see you in the next videos.